This is part two of a UI demo. Um, my last video I showed how to create a button and connect it to the script. If you need that information, you can jump over there. Otherwise, um, right now I'm going to demonstrate how to get input from a user from an input field. Um, I do want to point something out. Make sure you are not running your program when you continue. If I were to create anything or change anything over here, let's say I make a new um, UI, like a, a input field here, and then I hit stop, it's going to disappear. So any changes I make while it's running won't work. So make sure that you are um, in edit mode. So the first thing I'm going to do is actually create a, an input field that we can enter into. So I want this to go into the canvas. If I don't have a canvas already, um, I could just uh, create input field. But since I want it to go on the same canvas as my button, I am going to select my canvas, click on this plus, go to UI, and choose input field. So here it is. It made an input field for me. I'm just going to zoom in here a little. I can position it where I would like to. Let's just put that here. That kind of makes sense. Um, I can change the size of this as well. If I look over in the um, uh, inspector, I could also grab this thing here. Um, sometimes people are entering things that are bigger and it gets cut off or if the text is too large. So if you need it to be a little larger, just go ahead um, to go to this uh, rect tool, change the size. I can move it again. Let's just center that. So let's say um, I want it to be a little larger. Now in the input field, there are, we could change the name if we have several input fields to differentiate. I only have one, so I'm just going to leave it. Um, but we've got this triangle next to it, and there are two things. One is the placeholder, and that will ad adjust what this um, gray text is as kind of a prompt for the user. So I could change this placeholder to um, enter your name. I'm going to be gathering the person's name and then um, giving some information back um, along with that. Now the text, for this one, I am not going to enter anything because um, I'm going to be collecting the text. I want them to enter the text. So I'm going to leave that alone. I'm going to go ahead and collapse these. So I have my input field created, but now I need to adjust my script to essentially accept a connection from the input field. And I'm going to show you how to do that. So let's go back here. I'm going to jump back to my UI demo script. Now for my last video, we added a method here to um, run if my button is clicked. And since I want to collect um, information in that, I'm going to be continuing on um, with this. Um, the first thing we need to do, though, for this to work is to add a directive at the top. Now, using UI requires additional code libraries, so that's what we're doing here, connecting to that. If you forget to add it, um, it'll prompt you. So let me actually, in fact, let me forget to add it first, and I'll show you in case you, you uh, forget. So what I'm going to do here is do add a, um, an input field object to hold the information. And I'm going to do this in the class, but above my method. Okay, so then it could be accessed by other methods if necessary. So what I'm going to do is say public. It's going to be of type input field. Just like if you were saying you were defining a new string or integer, we need to say what type it is. And I'm going to call it username. Now, it's going to have, oh, you know what? It added this automatically for me, didn't it? So um, Unity is getting a little smarter. If for some reason it's, it's noticing that I need a directive, um, it seems to be adding some things automatically. What I wanted to show you is if, what if this wasn't there? Input field is going to be giving an error. So if you see this, it's likely that you don't have your directive up top. So let me put that back in. And that is essentially just saying using Unity Engine UI. And that will give us the functionality of accessing input fields and such. So now that we have our directive in and our input object in, we can go ahead and add some code that would um, connect, like that would access text from this. Now, text fields 
input fields and um, other objects have all kinds of different properties to them. And the thing that we want to get from this is the text of the input field. So what we can do is uh, let's just change the debug log to what the um, what is in the input field. So it would just uh, go back to the um, console, whatever they type in. So to access the text of this, I would say username dot text. So what this is doing is it's getting the object we created, which is the input field, and it's getting the text of that. So when you see dot text, it's getting the text of that. Now this isn't going to work yet until we connect our input field to this script because it doesn't actually know, it knows that there's going to be a, a username input field, but it doesn't know what on the screen that's going to be. So let's connect that up. So let me save that, go back to Unity, and let's go ahead and click on the script game object. Notice over here in the UI demo script, it has a thing called username and notice it says none. Now I do want to point out that Unity, for whatever reason, changes the names of the variables here. So even though username was one word, lowercase u, it seems to try and break it up into words. Same thing here, it changed UI demo where they were together, it broke it apart into UI demo. Just don't worry about it, it's just kind of an odd Unity thing. What we do want to focus on is that this username doesn't have an object attached. So let me show you what happens if I don't attach something. If I hit play, it's probably going to throw me an error. Not yet. Let's say submit info. Notice it says in the console, null reference exception, object reference not set to an instance of an object. And this, I'm showing you this because this is a common error and I wish it just kind of wrote it more in English for us, but it's just basically saying it doesn't know um, what you're talking about. What object, when you're talking about an object, it doesn't know what you're talking about. And that's because we don't have, I'm going to hit stop, we don't have the input field dragged to this. So what I'm going to do is take the input field I'm talking about from the hierarchy and drag it to that spot. And that connects it up. So that no, lets the script know that I'm talking about this particular input field. It's very likely you may have multiple, so then you'd be dragging those all over. So let me hit play this time. And now let's enter my name. Let's um, Susan submit info and notice now Susan is being written to the console. I could type anything really, <laughs> right? Anything. Now it writes anything. Okay. So that's a nice um, quick connection. I also want to show you that you can, you don't just have to only write um, this. We could actually have a little, um, text message in front of that. So um, what I could do is um, change it to hello username. So what I've done here is I have the string hello and I'm using the plus symbol to concatenate it with whatever they enter. So I could actually give more of a, a message. So hello, I put anything I specifically want to type, I put in quotes, I hit a plus sign and then what um, I want displayed. So if I save this, go back to Unity and hit play, enter my name, Ted. So now it says, hello, Ted. So at this point, we have our button working and I'm getting information in from the input field. And my next video is going to be showing how to output to the text field. So we're not relying on the console.